contact with these two cars. It's tight, they'll go side by side through turn four. This is where Bates had the crash. It'll be Russell as the sit, and this is bringing Richard Musket in, and a big one, oh, oh, Russell goes wide. Russell. He this might lose second as well. Musket, where did Musket come from? He these was guys, lurking. These guys battling so hard, Musket's caught up to him. Musket was three and a half seconds back at the beginning of this lap. Things that I like, a sorted of, oh, Max Twig. Permagard Porsche has gone around, and that will drop him way back in the order. He was just in the top 10 in position nine. He drops right back in front between Grove and Bergmuller, who gives him a little bit of a hurry up as well. So Max is definitely looking to get back to where he was pretty quickly, and he's got a reasonable amount of speed here. He's only ever had 71, so he's really got the full set, but he won't be able to stop Max Twig from ooh, sneaking down the inside and a little rub on the way through too. wilder machinery in terms of their GT cars and their prototype machines, but for a one-mate category race car, this is still a really, really fast race car. Ben's still trying to get Nick Foster, but hasn't been able to do it, does not have the pace to push his way forward. It's very difficult. Like we said before, they're evenly matched cars, so if you try and outbreak someone, they can obviously break as late and as good as you. Reminded us of at the start of this race, he's got the best tyre quality in the field and he couldn't get off the final corner to put himself in a position to get down the inside of Steve Richards. Alex Davison on the previous lap was a 14.91, one hundredth of a second. This is the move from Steve Richards. He just capitalised on a little mistake from Foster. In the year and in fact, he's one of four. This is Tom oh. Heidgartner and Foster, the young blokes, arguing over a bit of real estate. And Foster was a bit cheeky there. Hanging tough on the outside. Nick McBride, four wide around the outside. <laughs> that's not the line you want to take. Go for any gap that's available. He's had a look. Oh, they're all on top of each other. And Paddy Archie's got up the inside of Bates there. So these guys, uh, Paddy Archie, one of the faster cars, trying to get through the field and in amongst this uh, fierce battle with the Tag Warrior Ooh. Challenge competitors. Mark Sini locking a wheel and running off the road at the last corner. No damage there, but he's going to get it. Gonna have to get it back to first gear and get moving again. It puts him out of contention for this race. Unfortunately.